Hi there Libra, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I also offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button, that way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present and future, it's still going to be a love reading and I'll be pulling out angel cards at the end for added advice. I pulled out the cards and then the camera stopped. So I didn't want to pull out the cards again because I feel like I have to get this message across. It's pretty positive thus far, but I'm going to clarify on camera. So the Four of Cups in reverse for the past energy, the Ten of Cups in reverse, and the Page of Cups in reverse, okay? And then the present energy is the King of Cups in reverse, the Six of Swords, the High Priestess in reverse, and for the future energy is the Magician, the Emperor, and the Five of Swords in reverse, with the overall as being the queen of pentacles here. Okay, which is awesome. You're coming across as being very loving and very nurturing. This is also my self-care card. Um, you're taking great care of yourself. You're focusing on your independence. This could even be a potential of someone wanting to offer you a commitment. But again, when I clarify, I'll get a better understanding of what's going on here. But it seems like you're doing really well, okay? Um, for the past energy, I do see someone acknowledging a connection, but being quite ha unhappy that they didn't offer you their cup, okay? And um, you could even be expecting, you could have been expecting an apology from this person and it didn't happen. But it seems like with the King of Cups in reverse, someone wants to express how they feel here. Um, they're heading towards you, possibly um, towards a resolution, but you're not seeing it with the High Priestess in reverse, okay? And for the future energy, I see the Magician and the Emperor here. So this is telling me that this Emperor wants to manifest you into their life. They're quite determined. They're not coming in with any self-sabotaging energy. Um, they don't want conflict, no games here. I feel like this person is just strictly wanting to get down to business, <laughs> which is awesome. So let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles for the overall. There you go, the Ten of Cups in reverse, twice. So it seems like someone is clearly unhappy here, but there seems to be something that's not quite over with the World card in reverse. Um, and there you go, the Three of Cups in reverse. So someone does want a reconciliation because they're quite unhappy with this disconnect here, okay? So I feel like someone does regret not offering you their cup. So let's clarify the Four of Cups in reverse for the past energy. There you go, the Seven of Pentacles. So someone is clearly thinking about you, um, feeling nostalgic, missing your energy here. And there you go, the Hermit in reverse. So I feel like this person has gone within and done some deep introspective thinking. Um, so they're coming out of it with the Hermit showing up in reverse. And But it's like, um, maybe not enough because <laughs> the Nine of Swords showed up in the upright. So this person needs to really go within um, and do some more introspective thinking here. Not quite there with the Seven of Pentacles, right? Seven of Pentacles is like investing, but not quite reaching the Ten of Pentacles here. So this person is feeling quite anxious. I feel like there is regret in regards to why they didn't offer you their cup. I feel like they do want to heal things in this connection though. So let's clarify the Ten of Cups in reverse. Well, look at that, the lovers, the Eight of Wands. So as I'm talking, this is someone that clearly uh, sees this connection as being very special. So there could be regret here. Um, this person has trouble sleeping wishing that they had communicated their feelings here. And as I'm talking, the Magician card showing up twice. This is awesome. So this person genuinely wants to manifest this connection, this coming together between two people. Um, that was their intention, okay? And it seems like they do want this Ten of Cups with you, but something didn't pan out. There you go. So they're quite unhappy here with the Nine of Cups in reverse. Wishing that they did offer you their cup. Okay. The Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah. Nine of Wands in reverse. They were open um, to wanting this union with you. With the Nine of Wands showing up in reverse. Genuinely wanting to communicate how they felt towards you. But look at that. Possibly felt intimidated by your energy here as a Queen of Wands. So you're coming across as this Queen of Pentacles and this Queen of Wands. So you're very attractive, charming, possibly even intimidating here. Okay. Um, this person 
Jenny only wants to tell you how they feel here. Very confident energy. Really liking your energy, Libra. So let's clarify the King of Cups in reverse. Ten of Wands. Wow. This person's feelings is weighing heavily on their shoulders. Could be even quite overwhelming. I feel like they, des they genuinely desire to express how they feel here. There you go. This person sees you as their soulmate. The Six of Cups. It's a very clear and straightforward message thus far. And justice in reverse. So this person does want to make things right. Balance things out in this connection because it's weighing heavily, out, heavily on their shoulders. Four of Cups. They're hoping that you will take their cup. Okay. They don't want to move on. They do want balance here with temperance. They do want to heal things in this connection. And look at that. The Empress with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So this person clearly wants balance here. They want an equal give and take in energy. They may have not um, given that to you in the past here. So look at that. You're coming across as the Empress energy as well. Wow, Libra. That's pretty... You could, you know, this is... You could be in manifestation mode as well. Because it seems like you're showing up as your best self. Self-love, self-care. Looking really attractive, beautiful. So I don't know if you're seeing this person heading towards you. So let's clarify the High Priestess in reverse. The Star. Well, this person definitely wants balance in this connection. They want to heal things. They're hopeful that they can. I feel like if this person doesn't um, express how they feel, it's actually, look at that, the devil. Wow. So, there could be um, the devil with the star. So, this person wants to heal anything if... So, if there was any sort of bad energy or negative energy between the two of you here... Maybe their emotions took the best out. You see what I'm saying? It's like, okay, so if this person regrets not offering you their cup, it seems like they could have had, um, there's something about them reacting. In a negative fashion, right? Like they did what they, uh, the total opposite of the, what they wanted. You know what I mean? The outcome that they wanted. So they wanted this connection. They wanted to manifest this connection. They wanted, you know, to offer you their cup. Instead, what happened was it's, it's so maybe this person did sabotage in the past and they don't want to sabotage it now. So they want to heal whatever toxicity is between the both of you, you know, or anything, any negative energy. Okay. Um, so I feel like they've been looking at things from various perspectives. So they do want balance here, but let's clarify the magician here. There you go, the Wheel of Fortune. They're hoping for things to take a turn for the positive. Okay, so maybe things were not so great in the past, but they definitely want things to be much more... Um, better now. Yeah, they're not walking away or detaching emotionally. They don't want you to move on, okay? Um, it seems like that's the case. They're kind of worried that you might, you know, not take them up on their offer or take their cup here. But I feel like they are willing to offer you their cup. And there you go. Well, this is the straightforward message. It's the Emperor twice. <laughs> They're determined to make this work, okay? But let's see. Let's clarify the Emperor. Yep, Seven of Wands. They want to put effort into this connection. So... The Chariot in reverse. Um, they're kind of confused about... So I feel like... The, the, their major worry here is because I'm looking at the Nine of Swords, the Four of Cups. 
Um, it's like a message that's popping out, okay? Um, so look at that. They're just hoping so they can smooth things out in this connection, okay? Um, and they're kind of worried that if they do offer you their cup, you might not take it, okay? Um, so they're kind of worried that you might just move on here. Um, but I feel like this person could be overthinking it with a double card. So it could be clouding their, you know, like they're not really listening. So if the high priestess is showing up in the upright, right? This person's listening to their intuition, but uh, they could be obsessively thinking about, you know, so they got to be mindful though, because the five of swords is showing up here that if they tend to be an overthinker or somebody that overthinks here, um, that's, that could actually cause, um, so it's like, they don't want to sabotage things, right? But they could be worried that you may, they may be faced with resistance and you might not take them up on their offer here. Okay. Um, five of swords in reverse. Let's clarify the five of swords in reverse. The knight of wands in reverse. I feel like this person could have acted out impulsively. Oh boy, like if I feel like, um, yeah, like I feel like there could be, this person could, would be heartbroken if you did turn them down. And I think that could be a fear of theirs with strength in reverse. So maybe they're not wanting to come in impulsively, even though that's, you know, they do want to offer you their cup here. But um, they don't want to sabotage things. So if they, act, I feel like this is something related to acting out impulsively and regretting it later. And I feel like if you did turn them down, um, it would it, it would break their heart here. Um, so I feel like with the devil, <laughs> it just seems like um, them really not wanting to sabotage this connection and wanting you not to turn them down or reject them here. So they need to, so I feel like they're trying to heal that. I don't, I don't see that as being, because if they're, sometimes they're, um, this is really interesting. Sometimes they'll act out impulsively or their, their actions would interfere with their intuition. You see what I'm saying? Like instead of them just standing back, because it's the hangman here, standing back thinking things through and then acting, sometimes this person acts out impulsively. Um, and I think there's an awareness that it interferes with their intuition when that happens, okay? So I feel like if you did reject this person, you would break their heart. So that's a very straightforward uh, message. I hope I was able to get it across. Um, I was like, why the devil energy there? But it's it's not, it's just, I think it's more in relation to them acting impulsively or, you know what I mean? So let's see what the angel cards have to say. So it's like two magicians and uh, two emperors. So you got to be mindful that um, look at that, the chariot. Um, so this person could be used to being in control of things, uh, with the emperor showing up twice and the magician in twice. So that's interesting. There could be issues with anger or, you know what I mean? Um, not for all of you, but for some acting out in anger, but, um, the chariot Archangel Metatron, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. So I feel like you could be dealing with someone that's in the public eye, possibly. Um, I think it's a very strong individual. Okay. Um, that has self-discipline, willpower. So I feel like it's, they got the king of air as well. I feel like this could be them as well. This could even be you. 
okay, being very logical and practical, sensible, so brilliant, impartial, professional, diplomatic. Speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional considerations. I feel like this person really wants to remain in control or just like balanced when it comes to their emotions. And I feel like um, the devil, I feel like something in regards to your energy could be kind of, you know, um, maybe, you know, they could be intimidated by your energy here because it's the empress with the emperor. So I see divine counterparts. Then I see the queen of wands and the, and the queen of pentacles, right? So, so this, this person I think is aware of that. That you sometimes if they do act out um, impulsively, it sometimes it could interfere with their intuition, right? So I don't know if something it's regards to overthinking, could even be sabotage, it, it could even be anger, okay? Because I'm looking at the Five of Swords showing up here and then the Five of Swords showing up in reverse and the Seven of Wands, right? I feel like if you did turn this person down, it would break their heart. So I feel like you have such an impact on them energetically. All right, so that's my reading for you and I'll see you next time. Take care.